Hello and welcome back to Star Wars Squadrons. Um, last time we uh, destroyed or uh, set the Starhawk to basically blow up uh, by flying inside of it, which was pretty cool. Um, then we had a kind of dogfight with uh, Lyndon Javes, and unfortunately he he died. Um, so <laughs> that's that's us who killed him as well. So it's a bit of an interesting dynamic within the story. Uh, but yeah, um, we're now going to jump into the next mission, the last flight of the Starhawk. Mission 14. So yeah, I think we're probably fairly close to finishing this campaign. Um, I'm not sure how much more is left to do, yada yada, but we'll, we'll have a look and see. But um, yeah, I, something tells me the story is starting to like wrap itself up, so... <clears throat> Vanguard Squadron. So we're playing as Rebels, which I'm happy about. Makes me happy to be a Rebel again. Although, last mission, actually playing as a TIE Fighter was still pretty fun. I think it's just the, the, the ones which you can't heal yourself on. It's not so fun. Um, there we go. <laughs> It took forever for me to be able to actually see what's going on. Let's see what Vanguard, Van Vanguard have to say about Linden. They all look pretty sad. Argo confirms what you already knew, Theo. The commander is gone. Yeah. You know he did the right thing here when the civilians knew about it. The commander sent Vanguard where we were needed most. Of course. This is what he fought for. That's why it hurts so much. Whatever happens next, this is the end of the line. I just wanted to say, I know we haven't flown together very long, but if I'm being honest, it feels like you've always been here. I speak for everyone in Vanguard when I say, it's been a pleasure fighting beside you. I know we have a mission, but we also have each other to lean on and to protect. You've got my back out there, and I have yours, no matter what. Okay, General Syndulla is waiting for us in the briefing room. Shall we? Man, they're all pretty upset. As you can imagine, you know. <laughs> they just lost the commander who they've all been following, you know, bravely. I'm sorry that our first real meeting is under such tragic circumstances. We're all feeling Linden's loss. But we're cornered. You and Vanguard have held back the Imperials. But we must get those civilian engineers out safely. I need you focused and ready to go. Lyndon saw you as a leader, an inspiration even. That's the courage I need right now. Let's get you and the others briefed. There isn't much time. Uh, you probably could say I'm an uh, inspiration, yeah. <laughs> as the, the person who barely speaks. Yeah, so very inspirational. Thanks to your work on the Comsat, Anvil Squadron heard our call. And with Lyndon Javes, bought us time to repair our ships for escape. But now the Imperial fleet has Anvil's ships pinned down. They can't get out. So we're going back into the fight. Because we need to buy everyone time to escape. No one left behind. Ardo thinks we have one chance. It's drastic. But here it is. The moon is highly unstable. And the Imperial ships are positioned around it. If we crash the Starhawk into the moon's core, the shockwave should destroy those Imperial ships and let us escape, if we're fast. How? The ship's tractor beam is firing uncontrollably as it overloads. If we can get a couple of Corvettes into that beam, we can tow it up to speed. Vanguard Squadron, you're up first. We're counting on you to clear the path and take out the closest Star Destroyer. Corvette Take out a Star Destroyer, wow, okay. And if Ardo's plan works, get the Starhawk moving. It should have a straight shot. Defend our fleet, in case the Imperials get wise to what we're doing. When the Starhawk collides with that moon, the shockwave will hit every Imperial ship in range. And you, unless you outrun it. Risk it. But sacrificing the Starhawk will save our fleet. And the engineers who will build the next one. And the next. The future of the New Republic depends on it. 
Let's finish this. Let's do this. Ardo, how you doing, man? How you holding up? You should know. Linden always speaks. Spoke highly of you. He never forgot what you did for him at Fostar Haven. I know war takes its toll. Even when the Imperials attacked Moncala, I had to keep my head. Linden was a friend. He knew exactly what he was doing when he challenged Teresa. Doesn't make it any easier. The Overseer has fallen back, but the other Imperial ships still have us pinned down. You and Vanguard are our last chance. I believe in you. But more importantly, I believe in Vanguard Squadron. Linden bought us time. I know you'll all make it count. Get to your ship. Every moment matters now. Sure thing, Ardo. Poor guy. He lost his buddy. Let's see what Sindala has to say. We were able to evacuate all Terror. personnel from the Starhawk. Mm. Engineers, technicians, mechanics. We took a big loss today. Those who died at Nadiri. Linden. It won't be in vain. So long as we survive, so does Project Starhawk. And with it, the future of the New Republic. Fortunately, the Imperials didn't seize control of Nadiri. They were too busy chasing us off. I've already sent Meteor and Hail Squadrons to secure the dockyards. Now all we have to do is make it out of here. To your father, there isn't much time. So they're just going to use the same dockyards. That seems like a bad idea, doesn't it? I mean, the ones where they they already know where it is. I mean, okay, maybe it makes more sense. But then I'm thinking. Maybe I'm not scared. We'll get through this. We always do. How do you know? Because we never let each other down. That's why. So, after we pull this off, because we will, what are you gonna do? This isn't the end of the war, Chris. It's just one more battle. Yeah, but we've earned ourselves a whole pile of day passes. You ever been to the last hand on Nar Shada? Best cantina in the outer rim. What a relief. For a moment there, I thought you were taking this seriously. <laughs> it's strange what a conscience can do. It took me from being a daughter of Imperial lackeys all the way to this tipping point. I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss my family, regardless of their loyalty. They are still my parents. My sister. But in Vanguard Squadron, I found a family I could stand beside, proudly, until the very end. Whatever happens next will be our legacy. And I'm proud to share it with both of you. <sighs> you, Gunning Keo, you're all acting like this is the end. Am I the only one who remembers where Vanguard Squadron? We have to survive. The galaxy ain't gonna save itself. Let's go. Ain't every day you crash a Starhawk into the moon. Chris has got the right idea. Positivity. <laughs> right. I think that's everyone. No droids to like talk to or anything. Oh hello. Oh no. So let's just jump in. Oh, we get to choose. You need your best for this one. X wing, Y wing, U wing, A wing. Pick whichever fighter you need. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Love an A-Wing. As I said, my fave. And they have, in the update, just added B-Wing to like the matchmaking and multiplayer. Which I haven't been able to fly yet, but I do love a good B-Wing as well. So, might have to give that a little go. Here we go. The last hurrah. General Sindula to Imperial Forces. Withdraw. Full, uh, not shields, full engines. Let's go. Speed. Like Baby, what I need. Grease lightning. Like yeah, feels on wheels. I have no idea what the words are. But. Did anyone else hear that? Probably just a calm glitch. Focus on the Star Destroyer. 
Something tells me Linden's not dead. Lion. Any advice, General? Hit the subsystems first to weaken it. Cool. Then strike with everything. I wanna we've got. I wanna aim for these bad boys, these are shield generators. Stupid empire. Oh no. Ooh, ah, there you go. Nice. Alright, slow it down. Twenty nine. So it's nearly there. We're doing alright. My shields are not doing alright though. Time to time to put more energy onto the shields, I think. How is it still on 29? Jeez. Oh no. Oh, that was close. Okay, heal up. Okay, subsystems. Okay, that, that. There we go. Uh, do we want to go for the other shield generator? Probably. So it's, uh, target it start going at it. Whoa, that went down really quick. Okay, now we need to go underneath. And now, aim at this. Whoa, that went down quick as well. Uh-oh. Whoa, okay. Uh, engines. I nearly had me. Right. Oh, what? Oh, wow, it really has. Ow. <laughs> about this top bit? Maybe this bit has to be taken? How is this not gone yet? Oh wow, we uh, we're not doing too well. Where, oh, where is the Star Destroyer? There you go. Good job, everyone. Now, form up. Ooh. What's next? Regroup with the Starhawk for stage two of the plan. Blew that thing up. I got it. Looks like that signal is coming from inside the Starhawk. What? It's been evacuated. It's Linden. I thought he might not be dead. The Starhawk has a straight shot at the moon, sending in Corvettes to get it moving. Give them some cover. Corvettes? To tow the Starhawk into the moon and take out every damn Imperial ship in range. Then count me in. Let's go. 
Let's finish this together. Boom. Let's do this. Ow! <laughs> Let's not do that. That's pretty good. Hi, Bomber, we'll where you at? I counted it. Dang it. Take him out. They're taking no chances. Boom. Okay. Gotta defend this thing. How did he survive? Something tells me that it was a little bit too coincidental that he survived. Wow, that was a bad ship. It just flew up in front of me. There you go. <laughs> Didn't even realize. Boom. Okay, track beam, watch out. Okay, I will say it's, although it's kind of lame, it's much more enjoyable playing this game when it's on an easier difficulty. Not having to like always worry about just basically being absolutely mash up. It's a little bit too easy at times, but I don't mind that if I'm like having fun flying around whilst and stuff, you know what I mean? I think we got all of them. No, did we not? Just hanging around me. I don't know, it's pretty awesome that we're losing the Starhawk like this. Imperial Cruiser, where? Come on, people! On it! Now we're gonna put weapons. We're gonna go for it. Boom! Okay, shields are nearly gone. Shields are gone. 
heal up. Put shields up. Okay. Okay. Full speed going along it. I have like no um, weapons, but we've got a couple of missiles off. Okay. Resupply available. I might go for another resupply just to. people need to get this. I did not pick a good enough uh, thing to uh, take out a cruiser. Woo! We got it! Smashed it. Whoa! Come on, Starhawk. Oh. Another one? Ridiculous. Okay. Smash it around. Oh, I'm shooting the Starhawk. <laughs> They're really, um... Really, uh, close to the Starhawk. I don't like this. Oh man, you might actually die on this easy, easy difficulty. <laughs> let's, let's run away. Now, this uh, full shields. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's taking a lot of damage. I don't like this. No, we're trying. This damn thing won't die. Hey, you're telling me. How, how's the Starhawk doing? I mean, it's still got like quarter health. I feel like on the harder difficulty, we would have lost this already. <laughs> Is actually doing anything to this? There we go. Smashed it. Four enemy fighters. Okay. Let's do this. That's quite cool. I like it when they fly towards you and you're just like, let's get them. Do do do. Like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, here come another batch. Let's run! We did it! Woo! This is gonna be epic, right? Please be an epic cutscene here. That is pretty cool. I like that. Move, Vanguard! Everyone. Oh, is this us following him? Nice. I like it. 
We got this. We got this. Oh! Whoops. Was it? <laughs> Just smashed into a rock. Oof. Well, yeah. Oh, come on, don't let Frisk die now. Always away. I, I went the wrong way, I think. Where am I going? Oh, no. It went badly and it went okay again. We did it! Mission complete. The Starhawks' last flight struck a massive blow against the Imperial fleet. With Teresa Carroll unaware of its survival, Lyndon James can guide Project Starhawk to victory. Thanks to Vanguard Squadron. And that is where I'm going to leave it. Um, I oh, but wait. There's a video to end it. Let's jump into that. It's like the sun. If you only believe in it when you can see it, you'll never make it through the night. We know our new Republic faces great challenges. But thanks to Vanguard Squadron, peace is closer than ever. General Sindula sacrificed one Starhawk for the chance to build a fleet. From Nadiri, Commander Jades will guide our best and brightest, forging the strength to challenge an empire. The war goes on, but we face it with renewed courage, inspired by heroes who fly for freedom as we emerge from the darkness of Imperial oppression into the light of a new era. Okay, well, turns out that was actually the end of the uh, game. So, overall, I thought it was quite a fun game. It's quite interesting, but um, I don't know. It just felt a bit rushed to me. It didn't feel good enough. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's because I just wasn't good enough at the game, but it just felt um, the controls were a bit finicky and not that easy to use. Also, the story was a bit... Eh, it was okay. There were no stakes. No one, like... I mean, this is just a bit evil to say, but no one died. There was no, like... So even Lyndon James, they didn't have enough guts to follow through with, like, one of the main characters dying and making it, like, a chance for people to, like, use that as motivation. But instead, they just kind of had it very, like, by-the-book, um, kind of simple story, I think. And it kind of nothing really happened to be honest there was like a little bit but not a lot it was just kind of they built this star destroyer or the star ship thing uh, the star hawk and then they blew it up at the end so it's kind of that was the the full um traveling of the story like the side characters were quite cool um i liked the rebels more but you didn't play as the rebels half the time so that was or more than half the time so it was a bit of an interesting one I think it was a good little Star Wars game, but I don't think it 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 was as good as it could have been. And I think, um, but I think from the past 
games like uh, the old Battlefront, the first Battlefront um, that EA released, and the second Battlefront. They're going in the right direction. They're making better games than they were, um, and I think um, th this one and the most recent uh, Fallen Order, Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, are definitely a lot better than they were. No microtransactions, actual single player story, um, and like actual effort put into like the cutscenes and things. Like that. I just feel like they are going in the right direction. They're just not there yet. So hopefully the next one that they bring out will be uh, will be even better. So um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching this playthrough. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. Uh, I might not be posting a new video every Monday now. Um, it depends if there's any good games that are coming out. Um, but yeah, um, I'll have a little uh, look around, see if there's if I want to do any more Apple Arcade games on the Monday or something like that. Um, or maybe uh, Xbox or PlayStation game, I'm not sure. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas or anything that you'd like to see. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series, because um, I did. I did enjoy it, but um, I think it could have just been better. A little bit disappointed because I'm such a big Star Wars fan. I think that's what it is. Um, and yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you when I see you.